like Justine, but the truth was I didn't have the courage to alienate my mother. Courage. Mother. Both two syllables, yet very different. Hmm. I wonder how many different ways could I get to syllables? Syllables. They can be made up of short vowels or long vowels. Short vowels come for one syllable, long vowels come for two. So, a word with one syllable can only be made in one way. A short vowel. A two-syllable word can be made in two different ways, two short or one long. So this one can be made in one variation. This one, two. Three can be made in three different ways. Three short, a short and a long, or a long and a short, giving it three variations. Four syllables can be made with five variations. A short, a short, short, short. A short, short, long. Short, a long, a short. A long, a short, a short. Or finally, a long and a long. Giving it five variations. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I kept going. There's a pattern here somewhere. I know it. I've got it! Simple! Add the two previous terms to get the next one. 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, that's it! I have to lay down. Signala. Oh, you only have a week to live. But the math! I must do something with it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Someone will find it. Someone who knows math will find it. Perfect. May it fall into the hands of the one who is worthy. I wonder what's inside. Secrets of math! What is this? Syllables? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see a pattern here. When you add up the previous two terms, you get the next one. And then the next. Hmm. I wonder if I can continue this to the drawing board. I don't know anything, any words about the three syllables, but I do know about rabbits. So, let's assume that rabbits don't ever die. Because I can never 
hit them with my bow and arrow. So I'm pretty sure they are immortal. Okay. Secondly, we'll assume that the rabbits take one month to mature. And finally, we will assume that each pair of rabbits produces a new pair of rabbits. So, we have month number one right here. In month number one, there's only one rabbit. And it's a young rabbit. Until it matures in month number two, when it becomes an old rabbit. And then, in the third month, a new rabbit comes along from the old rabbit. So now, the rabbit population has risen to two total rabbits. In the fourth month, there are two old rabbits. And one new rabbit. So there are three total rabbits. In the fifth month, there are three old rabbits and two new rabbits. Two. That makes a total of five rabbits. In the sixth month, those three old rabbits give birth to three new rabbits, and those two new rabbits become old. And so now there are a total of eight rabbits. I see a pattern here. One plus one equals two, which is the number of rabbits in the third month. Two plus three equals five, which is the number of rabbits in the fifth month, and three plus five equals eight, which is the number of rabbits in the sixth month. I think I can devise a way to formularize this pattern. Okay, so if we let n equal the number of rabbits, when n is equal to zero, then f sub n, f being the total population of rabbits, is equal to zero. When n is equal to one, the total population of rabbits is equal to one. And when n is greater than one, the total population of rabbits is equal to the total population of rabbits from the previous plus the total population of rabbits from two months previous. I think I've solved it. This marker sucks. We will call it Fibonacci. I like it. So I've developed this formula, but what good is it? What good is a series that is infinite? Hmm. Oh. Look! in these flowers and the rows of seeds. Wow. And look, it's in, it's in the pine cones. And I think I've seen this pattern on a, on a pineapple. And in, it's everywhere, in every, everything in nature. I've unlocked the secrets of the universe. And it's all thanks to that mysterious man from India.